This is the tale of a young boy named Tu Vang. He was abandoned in the middle of the jungle of Laos during the Vietnam War, while his family escaped Laos to Thailand to avoid the prosecution. Let's stay tuned to see how he survived in the jungle and where he ended up at to the end of the video. The Abandoned Boy, The Story of Toh Vang Deep in the heart of the lush, dense jungles of Laos, a young boy named Toh Vang found himself entangled in a web of fear and uncertainty. The year was 1978, a tumultuous time when families were torn apart as they sought refuge from the ravages of war. Toh's family was among the many who sought solace across the borders, escaping the unrest in Laos to find sanctuary in neighboring Thailand. As they ventured through the treacherous terrain, Toh's family encountered a group of Lao army soldiers, tensions escalating as fear gripped both sides. Shots rang out, the cacophony of gunfire echoing through the dense foliage. In the chaos, Toh, a mere 12-year-old, was separated from his family. Panic set in as he stumbled through the tangled undergrowth, desperately trying to keep up. Amid the confusion, a stray bullet found its mark, striking Toh in the leg. Pain seared through his small frame, causing him to collapse in agony. His family, driven by the urgency of the situation, believed he had been killed in the crossfire and had no choice but to press on without him. Left behind and wounded, To lay helpless in the unforgiving jungle. Day turned to night, and the jungle's symphony of sounds enveloped him. Fear and loneliness gnawed at his spirit as he grappled with the harsh reality of his predicament. But despite the odds, To's resilience shone through. Driven by an innate survival instinct, To fashioned makeshift bandages from the tattered remnants of his clothing tending to his wounded leg as best as he could. He foraged for food and water, learning to navigate the dense wilderness that surrounded him. The jungle, once an alien and foreboding place, became his reluctant home. Weeks turned into months, and Toe's determination to survive remained unwavering. He honed his instincts, learning to distinguish the sounds of danger from those of the natural world. The jungle, though unforgiving, became a source of solace and familiarity. As Toe navigated the challenges of his newfound existence, news of his family's escape reached refugee camps in Thailand. The desperate search for Toe intensified, fueled by the hope that he might still be alive. Meanwhile, Toe, unaware of the efforts to find him, continued to carve out a life in the heart of the jungle. One fateful day, a group of aid workers stumbled upon Toe's makeshift shelter. Astonished by the sight of a young boy surviving alone in the wild, they quickly mobilized to bring him to safety. The journey to reintegrate Toe into a world he had almost forgotten was challenging, but the resilience he had developed in the jungle served him well. Years later, as Toe Vang stood on the soil of a new home, the echoes of his past lingered. The jungle, once a place of isolation and despair, had forged him into a survivor. As he embraced the opportunities that lay before him, Toe never forgot the family he lost, the jungle that shaped him, and the indomitable spirit that carried him through the darkest days of his youth. Toe Vang, a testament to resilience, now uses his survival story to inspire others, proving that even in darkness, hope and strength can blossom. New life in America, started a new life in a third country. After Toe and his family spent close to 10 years in the Thai refugee camp, they have decided to settle in a third country, the United States of America in 1987. September of the same year, Toe and his family arrived in the United of America where they found a new life and lived in the life of an American dream. Toe started to work in a remanufactured factory as a front brakes assembler couple months after they arrived in the US. After a year went by, he decided to pursue a higher education to get a better paying job. He finally quit his job and went to attend an adult education class to earn his GED. He finally earned his GED a year later and moved on to earn his associate degree in computer science. From the jungle's harsh lessons to the factory's demanding rhythm, Toe Vang transformed his life through tireless dedication, resilience, and a thirst for knowledge. From assembling breaks to mastering bites, Toe Vang's journey is a testament to the transformative power of education, resilience, and unwavering determination. As soon as Toe completed his GED, he quickly applied for a grant to study in college. From the jungle of Laos to modernized country, Toe was so surprised when he first entered a computer classroom in basic computer programming language. He didn't know where to start. He didn't even know what a floppy disk was. 
Unfamiliarity and confusion marked Toe's initial encounters with computers, but his insatiable curiosity and tenacity turned the unknown into an opportunity for personal and professional growth. Toe's journey, marked by uncertainty yet fueled by determination, turned unfamiliar terrains into platforms for achieving unprecedented success in the digital realm. Three years went by, Toe was successfully earned his associate degree. He was looking to continue to a Bachelor of Science after he graduated. However, things didn't go as planned. The gain agency didn't approve of his decision so they wanted him to start to look for job. He then landed on temporary job. He was on the temp job for 90 days and the company didn't offer him a permanent job. So, he got laid off. After several weeks went by and Toe couldn't find a permanent job, he and his family moved to northern part of the United States. He then worked his way from a minimum wage to a mid-wage. No matter how hard Toe worked, he never had enough to support his family with one job. So, he started to work two full-time jobs. He rarely see his kids during weekdays. Despite the grueling hours and minimal family time, Toe's steadfast resolve in his two-job grind remained unwavering, driven by an unyielding desire to secure his family's future. After seven years in the bitter cold state, Toe and his family moved to the warmer state in the southeast of the United States where he found a good place to call home and a steady job where he's still working today. He worked his way from a technical support specialist to a cloud services administrator. He's now a grandpa to three grandchildren and a happy father to five young adult children. Happy ending, that's the life of a young boy who was abandoned in the wild and later landed into the wonderland of the American dream.